Response to an atheist about belief in God plus God's nature. Kraus Pears, the stuff you wrote to me has got me thinking. Even if it's not real, it would be very nice to think that you will go to heaven instead of be dead when you die. Because what I've learned here in Sweden is that people made up God because it will make people want to fight in a war. For example, fight with us in the name of God and you will go to heaven. And that's how people here in Sweden thought that people started believing in God. Or here they think that if a family member dies, the only way people can heal is if they think that they will see them again in heaven, right? There was a time when I was younger and I truly did believe, although that slowly started to fade as I got older and moved back to Sweden from America. My life was no different then than how it is now, and I've heard from Christians that you can hear him speak if you listen and you believe. Then I truly did believe, but I never even heard a whisper. But the reason I did believe was because everyone in America said, you have to believe or you will go to hell. There we have it again, they use fear into making someone believe. Simple believer. Hi there, thanks for the message. Please allow me to clarify a few things. Although I was a professing Christian my whole life, I wasn't actually saved. That is according to how the Bible says we should be saved until October of 2008. 1 Corinthians 15, 1-4 and Romans 10, 9-10. God is a righteous and holy God. What does that mean? It means that he cannot and will not tolerate sin because it goes against his holy nature. God hates sin, not the sinner, because we are all sinners and yet he died for us. Why did he do that? Because of his love for us. God is a God of love and mercy and he is also a God of wrath and judgment. So in his righteousness, even though he has to punish sin, he gives us all time and chances to repent, that is turn away from our sins and ask him for forgiveness. He does this so that he won't punish you because it is not something that he enjoys doing. God hates sin and sin separates us from God. It also makes us spiritually unclean in his sight. Therefore, when people keep on rejecting God and his mercy, he eventually removes his hand of mercy and carries out his judgment. In effect, it is people that condemn themselves by their own rejection of God and his truth, which is in his word, the Bible. His truth of salvation in Christ alone. Now, just because you don't have all your questions answered when you want, does not prove or disprove anything because God is God and not subject to the whims of mere mortals. Just because people demand answers from him, does not mean he is obligated to give them any. However, because of his grace and mercy, he does reveal things to us but in his own time and according to his divine will. Furthermore, no matter what, we cannot know everything or have every single question answered because if we knew everything, we would be God and wouldn't need or seek God. God is the only one that is omniscient, that is all-knowing. He knows and declares the end from the beginning, yet he doesn't interfere with the free will he has given mankind. He gave us free will because he hoped we would choose to love him. God chose love. If he took away our free will, then we'll all be like robots, serving God because we had to and not because we love him. God is love. For instance, even though he knew Adam and Eve were going to disobey him and eat the forbidden fruit, he didn't interfere with their free will and allow them to choose to disobey him. If you seek God with all your heart, he will reveal himself to you because he is faithful. All he requires is faith with a humble and sincere heart. But this world has been so conditioned to believe in what they can only see. As such, in their quest for proof of God or his power, Satan has blinded their eyes from the simplicity of the gospel and the truth that is in Christ Jesus. True Christianity is not a religion. It is simply a faith in plus relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ, who is the one true God. This is why the current 6,000 plus denominations that exist today have no biblical basis. The true body of Christ the true church is actually a spiritual entity. It is a body of Holy Spirit-filled believers in Christ. At the rapture, God will be taking his true church, his bride, not a building or a denomination. Christianity is the only faith where God says, I have done it all. You don't have to do anything that is works of righteousness like doing good deeds and so on to be saved because he truly did it all. You see, no matter how much of a good person you are, you are not without sin. Ecclesiastes 7.20 tells us, For there is not a just man upon earth that doeth good and sinneth not. Jesus is the only one without sin because he is God in the flesh. God did not send an angel to die for you. He did it himself. That is love. You don't have to pay or even be perfect because the Bible says all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. 
Romans 3.23. Salvation is a free gift and Jesus is the only way to eternal life. I urge you to seek him with all your heart and you will surely find him. God bless you.